I want to call this Council of Bishops and the entirety of United Methodism, Methodism today to begin to make a pivot. I believe that it's time in our role as leaders to initiate a conversation about what it is we want and dream about as a church moving forward. What do we see as the next expression of Methodism? What kind of church do we envision in the ongoing United Methodist Church? This is a conversation that needs to be revived immediately and must be given significant priority and place in our work. Wesley himself knew that the vibrancy of the ongoing Methodist movement had its challenges. Wesley stated it himself. I am not afraid that the people called Methodists should ever cease to exist either in Europe or America, but I am afraid lest they should only exist as a dead sect, having the form of religion without the power. And this undoubtedly will be the case unless they hold fast both the doctrine, spirit, and discipline with which they first set out. If our conversations and the form of our leadership that is undertaken is crafted around an attempt to equip us for the current moment or somehow tool us to make an effort to recover what we were, this effort will miss the opportunity of the moment, an opportunity to engage a broken world with a theology that remains more than relevant in this rapidly changing world. It's time for a United Methodist revival. It's so important that we remind ourselves and the people we serve that we dare not forget the good in the news that is shared. I am a United Methodist. I have been a Methodist, later a United Methodist, since I was three days old. It's all I know. I'm proud of it. I want to lead a council and a denomination that in spite of our faults and failures is committed to spreading scriptural holiness across the land. A denomination that invites a broken world into the possibility of being a part of a story that'll change their lives. And I'm interested in us engaging everyone, everyone in a journey that we believe can and should change the world. The time is now for us to discern a new course, a new direction, a new rubric, a new passion for our leadership and our work as United Methodists. The challenges set in our midst are not obstacles. They are opportunities. Has God not opened a door for us to walk into Methodism's next expression? I do not doubt that. But the real question is, whether or not we will have the courage to walk through that open door. Similar to the story of Jesus and his disciples in Matthew 14, Jesus has put us in a boat to cross to the other side. The storm is raging around us, and we're on a boat that's being tossed and turned in the wind. We're afraid, and we're uncertain of what to do. But true to the gospel story, I believe that Jesus is in our midst, calling us by faith to not only rely on our own devices, but to stay focused on the call of God to lead in the midst of turbulent times. In the midst of the storm, Jesus says, take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. Church, there is a way through the storm and a course that can be followed that will lead us to the other side. It will not be done in isolation. It cannot be done relying upon our own ideas. It must not be done without the power and the presence of Christ in our midst. This is the moment. These are the times. What do you say we test the waters and see what we can do with the power 
and presence of Jesus Christ in our midst. May it be so. Amen.